Tene tak ngu nambar tapa sarta ne senaru che chuchu ta Tene ta te jisu tanda tartu ku yerong yar ta kasin ke tule tartu ku yerong yar sin ke te reba tartu ku yerong yar sin ke te tanda tongtong jabu ge chashin ka um nong do song na Mugi Gnando, Yoyo, whatever. Mugi la ni, Yapa Satin number ni, Yapa Tombo, Gay Yeron Dorda, Nipa Tartuko Yeron Yer, Setang, Mugi taken on a Yona, Yona, you are a la. Teneta Natake, Tanda, Tene, Gundrota, Mugi, G. Songanani, Tene G. Cosum Ron Yer, the Gigno, Yoyo, the Yena Yatella. Cheaper Hidra, Menog, Cheaper Sound, Matu, Hidra, Cheaper Yosamare, La Tinin Tartu, good year on her said to Tanda, Tonto Jabu, good year, Nanata, Tinin Taranata, good sum wrong her, say, Chuko Longo to good number song, Kona, Yoyore, La Tatia, Tis, Menog, Cheaper Double, Matu, then you want to send a good year to go some till a cheaper Hidra, your mare. Please listen with an utterly pure motivation. And now when we talk about the instructions here, the, uh, we have come to the, uh, ult the ultimate natural occurrence of the four bodies. And here in Tanto and Jampa's um, Amulet Mahamudra on page six, uh, the, these are included in the actual practice. So the actual practice has two sections, the naturally liberating the four faults and the ultimate natural occurrence of the four bodies. Uh, and so here, this is the um, ultimate, uh, these uh, natural body, the, the natural occurrence of the four bodies is here placed as the second of these two sections of the actual practice. If we look at Taranata's instructions, however, we see that uh, in terms of the preliminaries, actual practice, and follow through, follow through, Taranata says that the natural occurrence of the three bodies is in the uh, follow through. Now there's not, in terms of the meaning, a large difference here. Uh, really, it's just a difference in the way the instructions are given. So here, uh, Taranata, uh, Tantan Gyalpa says that there are four bodies, and Taranata says that there are three bodies, but this is, uh, and the three bodies are the uh, Dharma body, the enjoyment body, and the emanation body. But here, um, there's that slight difference in terms of the instructions, but the meaning is actually the same. So there is really not much difference between these instructions. Tene Tatea, Tanda Tambo, Tashin Kaoman, only Tonton Jabusum, but dig and take it. Tang won't take your cup so. Tene Tan Yumji, Luzi, Tomji, Tom Talve, Shoja Chimbo, Rancher to Yop, two so. Tatela, Tanda, Garanso, Yum Yot, Yang, some big and Zabata. I did Karigogi or Sena, Sam Rang Netan, Chuni go on the Sena, Chuni Rang Netan, Kari Yabati, Yamsu Yone, Jongogi or Rela, Tatanda, Tene, Tati Chuni Gensi in the Botella, Semi Ganelu Tau Capsula, Semi Ganelu Te, Sam Te Coran, Tony Imbala, Tony Tony Mahimbala, and some Gogi or Mari, Tony Mahimbala, Tony Imba, and some Gogi or Mari. Kurang nelu kare yabati sanji netan kare yabati la tene luzi tanji don tawe soja chimbo rangher to yabitu soja chimbo ranging kharwe kapso ta te chitang ta nda ngro rongbap nam som 
la chine est en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui sont en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui sont en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui sont en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui sont en train de se faire. Il y a des gens qui sont en train de se faire. Rongkir rongkir di kiri gaya orang la. Nanti susu kiri waktu truk orang kiri se. Tapi dia la, ini, tapi tanda orang susu cewi noa, nang ripa, kahiy nayo. Nampak nanti susu nampak la kiri waktu ini truk orang kiri. Tapi mahu pala, ini dosa senjir tamci jatuh si tu pun truk itu juta waktu ini macam mana truk orang kiri se. Tadur jam ada apa tuh cinta lu ke cinta lu truko. Tiap lasan sini tuh cakap topa meh de cukur orang kira. Tni tiap salwa ini, tomba ini, sampai zaman tuh cakap. Nam tu meh de, tadi tiga seni ke nelu nelu ke orang tuh leh de ni apa ti. Tadi cuci koi orang kira de. Mau bala cuci koi cinta wa ini tuh cakap ke juta apa ti re. Tadi Nunggu aku untuk siapa tu, tuh bagi untuk siapa ni re. Tapi ni ke parta lagi apa tu? Salah tuh mi dewar kerawat itu longkur orang kerusi. Tapi nampak ni salwa yang ba, ngau topa meba. Tapi salwa tu topa meba ni ke dewar kerawat singkete. Dewi nampak lah kerawat dunghal jerang jinto terawat dia lah longkur orang kerusi. Mahu pala longce jupu kunjung ke juta bete. Jitang ke untuk saya nak kosong de, ta jitang rendah pasum coba cuci cuci sedu, cuci ni kan elu jeda wajan tu zai ni, tapi cuci yang supong tu ke yang tin coba de la cuci segiwar. Tapi cuci de rendah pasum coba de de, ina yang jendah de tetam dub tu ke yang mana? Jendah jum ke cawan rambut ribis ni jendah jum ke cawan de de, cuci ke tekala. Tene yang dah dub naik tu gaya mari. Junsen kerja ni sena cukup tu suci ginjal gaya mari. Toni ke nama la, syar gaya mari la. Tapi dulu saya senjing ke tengah zaman la, suci kau itu nama la, pegu gaya mari la. Suci kau itu nama la, pepa tela. Tene dulu saya le tapa thamji jengwa la syarwa tela. Nanti jauh buku tu. Dulu saya le mada tapa thamji dulu buku tu. Dulu saya cukup tu buku tu. Tapi kau ni syarwa tu. Tapi tanda Tiga jenra buatin, nasi usah kira buatin, truk kurung kira tu, salat topan mebatin, long kurung kira ni. Tadi, mesti. So first, when we look at the instructions in the of the amulet Mahamudra by Tantung Jabo to to explain um, these a little bit and. Uh, in, in this, the, uh, it says here, when we rest in the natural occurrence of Mahamudra that is free of all mental fabrications of meditation and post-meditation, so we, aren't think, we don't have the fixation that this is equipoise or the fixation that this is post-meditation. We don't have either of these uh, uh, fixations, nor do we have any other sort of uh, mental fabrications. We aren't thinking... This is emptiness, or this is something that is emptiness, or something that isn't emptiness, and we need to make into emptiness. There is no fabrication like that. Nor is there any thought that we've got to have some clarity, I've got to make some clarity here somehow. There is no thought like that uh, in any way. So these are the sort of mental fabrications that we can have. And this is not that. This is free of those. So whatever it is that happens, whether this is, you call this the nature of the mind, the way that the mind is, or if you call this the, the essence of the Dharma nature, uh, it is just resting in the Dharma nature as it is. And to experience that um, uh, Dharma nature as it is, and then maintain and nurture that sort of an experience. And so, as sort of an uh, as sort of an example of the Dharma nature as it is, or as something that illustrates that there is the nature of the mind, and we can see this nature of the mind as being empty. Uh, and it's not something where we think that there is something that isn't empty that we have to make into empty, or something that is not empty that we have to make into empty. It's, it's not either of those, but rather it is just resting in the, um, uh, uh, in the nature of it as it is. And so 
Um, and so in this, when this happens, then naturally the uh, four uh, bodies of the Buddha naturally occur during, at this point. And so here in the preliminaries, we have the threefold uh, letting go or the threefold natural settle, settling. And in that we have the instructions on tranquility and insight meditation. Then in the uh, actual practice, there is the, uh, natural, uh, uh, the natural liberation of the four faults. And then uh, sort of as a result of resting in all of this, there are very things that occur. There are very things, various things that appear and occur. And that uh, variety of occurrence is the natural occurrence of the, uh, of the emanation body. So there are various things that happen, and these are the occurrence of the uh, four different bodies of the Buddha. So the variety of appearance, that is the uh, emanation body or the nirmanakaya. Uh, so all of the external appearances or all of the internal awarenesses, all of these are the emanation body. In that in the future we will uh, uh, be able to uh, give, uh, bring forth the emanation body in order to benefit uh, students who have impure appearances. And so the, this is the, the future cause of us being able to benefit students uh, who have impure appearances by, giving forth an, uh, by bringing forth an emanation body in the future. And so that is the natural occurrence of the emanation body. The non-thought, free of clear fixation on that, is the natural occurrence of the Dharma body. And so um, uh, when we are free of any fixation on that occurrence, on the na variety of occurrences being clear, or when we are free of any fixation on it being emptiness, when we are in the non-thought that is free of any uh, fixation on that, and are, we are resting uh, relaxed and loose within the nature of the mind, then that is the natural occurrence of the uh, Dharma body, the Dharmakaya. And so this is like the, the cause for the Dharmakaya to arise within the future. Uh, and so the, uh, the, the appearance, uh, all of these appearances are, and, and so, excuse me, so we have the appearances that are the natural occurrence of the Dharma body. We have the emptiness that is the, uh, the excuse me, we have the appearances that are the natural occurrence of the emanation body. We have the em uh, emptiness uh, that is the Dharma, uh, the Dharma body. And then between those two, we have the, uh, we have the enjoyment body. We have the uh, clear aspect that is in essence empty. Uh, and this arises as the, uh, in a nature that doesn't have any suffering in any way. And so this is the natural uh, occurrence of the great bliss uh, that is clear but thought free and that is the natural occurrence of the enjoyment body so this is the cause for the enjoyment body to uh, rise in the future and these uh, so in this way we have the three different uh, bodies or kayas of the Buddha we have the Dharma body the enjoyment body and the emanation we have these three different bodies um, and of these the um, Dharma body is the aspect of the Dharma nature. This is the emptiness aspect of the Dharma nature. When we realize this and we uh, realize the Dharma nature and we perfect the qualities of giving up, uh, of abandonment, and perfect the qualities of realization, then that is the perfect benefit for ourselves. So this Dharma body is the perfect benefit for ourselves. Uh, and it is also the, like the root from which our ability to benefit others uh, arises. But the Dharma body itself is not able to benefit others. And the reason for that is that it takes the aspect of emptiness. It takes the, the form, you could say. It takes the aspect of emptiness, and therefore uh, other beings cannot, really per cannot perceive it. They cannot see it uh, because it has that empty aspect. And so for that reason, the Buddha then has the uh, two bodies, the two form bodies that are able to benefit um, others. 
And so these are the uh, enjoyment body, which brings um, which brings benefit to beings to the students who have pure perception. And then there, for the students who have impure perception, there is the emanation body. And so these are the causes of them all happening. The cause of the emanation body happening is the uh, variety of appearances that we have now. Tate <laughs> Ranghimba <laughs> Kuyerongharte and the essence of these three bodies is the body of great bliss. The indivisibility of the nature of these three. So these three refers to <coughs> the, an uh, emanation body, the dharma body, and the uh, enjoyment body. And so all of these are uh, in nature, in their nature, they're inseparable. Uh, it's not like you can find an enjoyment body that is somehow outside of the dharma body. Dharma body. You cannot find a dharma body outside of the uh, enjoyment body, these and so forth. You, these are all the same in essence. They are all uh, indivisible. And so, um, the, in the ultimate aspect of, uh, so these are the natural occurrence of the ultimate body of great bliss. Uh, and so here, when we are doing this, there, the the uh, the emanation body is by nature it is benefit for ourselves it is benefit for others and it is the same with the dharma body it is the same with the enjoyment body and so all of these together that is the natural occurrence of the uh, body of great bliss and so here we have four different bodies we have the dharma body enjoyment body emanation body and the great bliss body these, these are the four uh, bodies and uh, these are actually uh, in terms of result these are the ultimate result um, but now at a time that we are developing the realization within our body, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the aspect of the clear emptiness that is the, um, the aspect of the clear appearance that is the emanation body and the um, uh, aspect of that as being non-thought, that is the Dharma body and, the, and uh, these, uh, and being free of, karasko. Uh, and, and, and being free of the uh the launch of the karasko. Ah. And the um, and the you and, and the union of these two uh, the at the clear aspect that always the clear appearing aspect and the uh, uh, empty non thought aspect the union of these two is the uh, enjoyment body and so in this way these are like the seeds of the three bodies or the causes for the three bodies to arise in the future. <laughs> 
ก็เยอะเตเตเนก็เยอะตีกันโอ้เตยิ่งเจ้าองค์เสียนะเจ้าตัวเจ็บยิ่งตรงที่เนี้ยปัจเจบยิ่งตรงนับยี่ตรงเ
uh, you can say. And so in this way, it has this aspect of these two wisdoms, the wisdom that knows things as they are and the wisdom that knows the full extent of things. ตันดาอารันซินชาริเกตาร์ตูเอ่อจงจุเซนจิตัมบะเตเฮโยเยนนาเตนิเจอร์ตูจงจุเซนจิตัมบะซินเกเตลาเตนิเจจงจุเซน
then that is wonderful. If we take the bodhisattva vows and we are not able to keep them, then that is also wonderful. <laughs> and the reason that it is wonderful is that generally what we need uh, in this world, what we need to develop is a kind heart. We, and if we think about it on a very vast level, then we need to have a kind heart for all sentient beings. And if we think of it on a very limited level, then we need to have a, a kind heart for everyone who is within our, within our own household and family. Like children need to have uh, affection for their parents. And parents need to have affection for their children. <coughs> When we are, we have to have, uh, there needs to be a mutual affection between the people within a household. And if you say to yourself, okay, now I'm always going to have affection for everyone in my household. Does that mean that you are necessarily going to have affection right at that moment? It doesn't mean that you're going to have it right at that moment. But by doing that, forming that intention over and over again and sort of training it and developing it and meditating in it uh, or uh, getting used to it, then it will get better and better. <laughs> ตาเจลมสังโบตะสัมปัตตนปรตตะปะละละปะกิจิตตะดัมปะสุวะละดัมปะดัมปะญีวะเรละเตเนดัมปะดัมปะญีเปนนอเนชะสุสุตะปะด
individual liberation. There are the external vows of individual liber liberation. These are the five lay precepts, the uh, full bhikshu vows, and the uh, novice vows. There are these three different types of vows. And when we take these vows, these are vows of our conduct of body and speech. These are vows to give up uh, bad uh, conduct of body and speech uh, and to uh, bring ourselves around to good conduct of body and speech. And so this is a commitment, a vow to do this. And it is something that we can do. It's something that we are a uh, able to do. And so for that reason, when we uh, make this vow to do this with our body and speech, then we are able not to let uh, our body and speech do something bad. We are able not to lose control. We are age, able to bring ourselves around towards good action. <coughs> and so those are the three uh, vows of, of individual liberation, the uh, five lay precepts, the bhikshu vows, and the novice monastic vows. And so these are something that we can um, keep and so we take them in order to keep them. Once you take the vow, you must keep it or you lose it. But the internal uh, bodhisattva vow is not like that. If this is a vow of the mind, so the external vows of individual liberation are vows of our body and speech. And so for that reason, we really need to keep them well. But with a vow of our mind, we cannot necessarily keep uh, the vows. We don't necessarily have a lot of control over our thoughts. We make the vow that we want to uh, stop any uh, bad thoughts, stop any thoughts of hatred, uh, 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 malice, or jealousy, or so, uh, so forth, and transform them into good thoughts. But we don't always, are not always able to do that. We are not always able to give up the uh, bad thoughts. We're not always to, uh, we may try to do that, but sometimes they just happen uh, without any control. And so for that reason, when we take this vow, we are not taking this vow in order to keep it. Instead, we are taking this vow in order to train. When we take this vow, uh, then gradually uh, we will get a little bit better and a little bit better and better. And so that is why we take the vow. And so uh, we uh, take, when we take the vow, um, we have taken the vow, and then a thought happens. A thought of hatred happens. A thought of malice or jealousy happens. And when that happens, then we can restore the vow, vow by taking it over again. We can restore it. It's not like that with the external vows of individual liberation. With those, it's like a cup. If you have a, 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 a pottery cup or a porcelain cup and it falls on the ground, then it's broken. Um, but with the internal vow of, bodhis, of, of a bodhisattva, this vow is like a gold vase that if it falls on the ground, it gets dented, but that dent can be repaired. You can bring it to uh, someone who can fix it, and it can be hammered back into place, and the gold, and the gold vase can be uh, repaired. Um, if it's a vow uh, of, the, uh, of body and speech, like the external liberation, then it's like a cup. It falls down. You break the cup. It's broken. You broke the vow, and uh, it's broken. But with the internal vow of the bodhisattva, it is not like that. You can restore it over and over and over again. So for that reason, when we take the vows of uh, the external vows of individual liberation, we generally only take those once. But when we take the bodhisattva vow, uh, we take that vow over and over and over again. It is like putting whitewash on a stupa. When you put one coat on, it's a little white. Then you put another coat on, it's even brighter. And another coat, it gets brighter and brighter with each coat. And it's the same way with the uh, internal vow of the bodhisattva. We can take this over and over again. And so we should take this over and over again. There's a really, it's a really great thing. It's very necessary to do this. And it will really bring us to a very good result. Tene, <laughs> 
สมบัติสมบัติเต็มบาเส้นจีนทําจีละเงี้ยเรียนชอดมั้ยบาเส้นจีนทําจีละค้างเพิ่มบาจัดเชิญบ่จีดุดทุบกันที่สมบัติสม
many of us have already had thoughts of bodhicitta. We've already had bodhicitta. But if we say, I vow to do this, I swear to do this, then this will make that uh, even more stable. And so that is the reason why we take the vow. And so now, in order to take the vow, we will first do three prostrations. After doing three prostrations, those of you who are able, kneel on the ground with your right knee on the ground, your left knee raised, and your two hands joined at your heart in prayer position. Uh, those of you who are not able, if the, who, uh, are un, who, have, who are unhealthy and are unable or uncomfortable doing that, then uh, imagine to yourselves that you are sitting in that way. And then we will first do the vows of refuge. And the vows of refuge will be uh, in Tibetan. The meaning of the vows of refuge are, until I reach enlightenment's essence, I go for refuge in the Buddhas. And in the Dharma and the assembly of bodhisattvas too, I go for refuge. We will recite these in Tibetan, uh, and please repeat them. complete and perfect Buddhahood, but we have not been able to do that. We are still wandering in samsara. And the reason for that is that we, uh, at the very beginning, have not been able to develop bodhicitta. We have not been able to take the bodhisattva vows. Uh, and because of, and, but now we are free of that obstacle. We have developed bodhicitta, we have taken the bodhisattva vow. And so it is absolutely certain that in the future we will awaken to complete and perfect Buddhahood. We have now taken one step, we will take a second and a third step. Each of these steps is a step towards the ultimate, uh, complete and final awakening to perfect Buddhahood. And so for that reason, taking the Bodhisattva vow is so uh, extremely uh, fortunate. And so now think to yourself, now I've taken the Bodhisattva vow. Now I've taken this step uh, and so uh, towards Buddhahood. Uh, and so in this thinking in this way, be happy and excited about this. And doing this is rejoicing uh, for yourself. Uh, and so keeping this meaning in mind, please repeat these words. Dela, <laughs> So that was rejoicing for ourselves. And then 
Others should also rejoice for us. Others are also very fortunate that we have taken the vow. And the reason that others uh, are so fortunate is that the way all sentient beings feel is that we experience, I experience suffering, but I don't have a companion to help me through. I don't have a friend to help me through my suffering. I want to be happiness, but I don't have any friend who can bring me happiness. I'm alone. This is how sentient beings feel. But now they don't have to have that feeling. We have now taken this vow. We have taken the vow to protect sentient beings from suffering. We have taken the vow to bring them to happiness. We are now their friend who can do that. In the future, because of this vow, we will awaken to complete and perfect awakening of Buddhahood. And when in the future we awaken to that, it is 100% certain, it is definite, that we will be able to bring all sentient beings to happiness. We will be able to protect all sentient beings from suffering. And so for that reason, we, need, we should encourage other people or other sentient beings to enjoy, rejoice for us. And so for that reason, please repeat these words. Dagi Tering, Dagi Tering, Jopa Tamji, Jopa Tamji, Jengaran Roa, Chenar Roa, Deshi Nidana, Deshi Nidani, Pardo Della, Pardo Della, Dando Pusinji, Dando Pusinji, Lada Lamen, Lada Lamen, Lasso Gawaraji, Lasso Gawaraji, Tati, Son Jusin Tambalimbe. Tene Tinitinzola Jilla Tinisa and so in this way we have had the preliminaries, the actual vow, and the follow-through. And then following that, we will make some an aspiration, some aspiration prayers. We will make three good aspiration prayers. Uh, and these three good aspiration prayers are that first, there are many sentient beings who have not yet been able to develop bodhicitta. They have not had the fortune to be able to do that. They have not developed the good heart. And so it is important that these beings develop the good heart and that they develop bodhicitta. If they do so, it is really beneficial for them. It is really important that they do so. And so we need to pray that all of those who have not been able to develop bodhicitta, that they, they may be able to develop this um, bodhicitta. May all these beings develop bodhicitta. That is our first aspiration. Our second aspiration prayer is that there are some beings who have developed bodhicitta, but there is the danger that it might weaken, that it might diminish in, uh, in some way. There is this danger that this might happen. And so may all those in whom bodhicitta has arisen, may, they, may it not weaken, may it not diminish uh, in any way. 
And the third prayer is that there are some beings who have developed bodhicitta. Their bodhicitta has not, uh, they've been able to maintain their bodhicitta without we weakening, but it has not really increased in any way. And so these beings need to develop and increase uh, their um, bodhicitta until they reach um, Buddhahood. And when they reach Buddhahood, then may they be able, uh, they need to be able to uh, bring great benefit for themselves and for all other sentient beings. And so our prayer is that for those who have developed bodhicitta and who have not, uh, and for, who, for whom it has not weakened, may it, uh, grow ever more and more until they reach the state of Buddhahood. And when they reach the state of Buddhahood, may they ac accomplish great benefit for themselves and for all other sentient beings. And so these are the three prayers uh, that we uh, will uh, make. These are prayers that there may be happiness in the world, that the world may be free of suffering. These are very important prayers. And so please repeat the words of this prayer. May bodhicitta, great and precious, arise where it has not arisen. Where it's arisen without weakening, may it grow ever more and more. Changchup semne, Rinboji, Rinboji, Maji Panam, Maji Panam, Kijurji, Kijurji, Kipa Nyamba, Kipa Nyamba, Nepatang, Nepadang, Kone Kondo, Kone Gondo, Pelwara Hu, Pelwara Hu. Happy get the name Changchu Sanji Dambati, eh, Pujunga. So now we have taken the Bodhisattva vows, and then following this, we will uh, make the aspiration prayers that all the beings who uphold the teachings may have long and fruitful lives and that all the virtue of this go for the, be for the benefit of all sentient beings. So now please let us recite these prayers together. These are the prayers on page 16. <laughs>
Yeah.